good to see you. All right, there, Revenants. Uh, excuse me. Welcome back to uh, Code Vein. Welcome back to the Road to 100. And um, what we are going to be doing here is uh, we're going to be investigating Flames of Rage. And we also have um, Active IFF um, just to show what it does. And uh, it does this. And you can see it pops some uh, fellas here on the screen. And uh, so you know that there's some enemies there. Costs one I Corps. And, uh, yeah, there's the description. And it's got a five second cooldown. So, uh, it's, uh, it's a thing. It's there. And, uh, we're gonna have it so we can, uh, see who's around. And you can see that, uh, these guys disappear after a little bit, and they just blink for a couple seconds, and then, uh, they go away and uh, then you you know at least somebody's there around the corner so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using the bloody snow devour to um, basically get back a whole bunch of uh, drain rating here on uh, on attack the enemy and then we're going to be using uh, flames of rage as our main uh, damage value uh, from orion since uh, it has an exceptionally high uh, dark value um, and the interesting thing is about Flames of Rage is it scales uh, as a dark value or as a dark gift off of your dark uh, value, but um, it does not uh, take any part um, to increase the damage from uh, Dark Shout. So it, it has to be the dark value that's listed on the uh, card um, at all times. And uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't uh, it doesn't interact with uh, dark shout, so don't try and use it that way. So, um, but uh, as you'll see, uh, this is kind of a goofy way to go about uh, killing the enemy. Um, and as we uh, start up here, we'll go for a couple things. And uh, so, as you'll see here, uh, we have we have a 2001 um, uh, dark value here, and we'll go for a drain rating. And we'll go for a uh, mobility enhancer, and we can run up and we can hit this guy. We do uh, almost 10,000 damage uh, to these fellas, so that's pretty good. And we'll go for a backstab here, go for some eye core and uh, some drain. Okay, and we'll kill this guy. That's pretty fun. And we'll go. For, oops. And we'll go for another backstab and get a bunch more eye core. And as you see, our backstabs do almost no damage, and we'll kill this guy. Uh, with with another uh, flames of rage there, so uh, it's kind of fun to uh, go through here like this. And if we pair up with Eva now, we'll get a whole bunch of uh, drain ability. Okay, there we go. And we'll go for a flames of rage. So there's uh, 16,000 uh, from flames of rage, and uh, we'll head over here and we'll go for a backstab. Uh, so we get a whole bunch of drain back. Uh, so that way we can go for another Flames of Rage. There we go. Oh, this guy's still here. Okay. Eva's uh, destroying him, so we'll go for another backstab. Get more of that i core back. See, we only do about 900 damage on a, a backstab, so they're safe to use. Um, so we'll go for a Drain Activator. We'll go for a Mobility Enhancer and a Gift Accelerator here. Okay, and then we can hit this guy with a Flames of Rage, so 14,000 something. So uh, it's very, very exceptional that way. Oops. And we'll hit him with a flame. And uh, so this kind of uh, just uh, is a fun, quirky, goofy kind of way to uh, go about this. And the only reason we're going for backstabs is to make sure that we have um, enough um, i during each fight here. Okay, we'll go for i regeneration here. Oops. I can't hit this guy. I'm like standing on top of him. So he's a perfect candidate for a flame. And as you see there, our uh, our damage from the bayonet as we strike the enemy is uh, exceptionally poor. Um, so we're not really uh, relying on the bayonet to do anything other than get uh, really, really high drain um, off of, well, a, drain, uh, an ex a pretty high drain at 1.15 and uh, it goes up even higher uh, when you're paired with Eva. Okay, let's get our uh, more i going here, or more uh, Dark Gift. Where's the squid? There we go. And let's kill these two. Okay. And uh, it's just, um... <laughs> let's kill this thing. 
so 5600 on the squids. So uh, it's a very, 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 very strange way, close quarters combat type of a thing uh, to make sure you uh, put the enemies down um, easily and quickly. Um, and uh, it's kind of bizarre that they uh, that they operate in this kind of a way, um, or that uh, Flames of Rage operates uh, kind of like this. So we'll uh, head over here and we'll get a back. Oh, okay. And see, we get about uh, two I four or so on a back uh, on a uh, on a strike uh, from this from uh, each uh, each weapon strike. Um, so we can still put put uh, some damage out on the enemy with our weapon, but uh, because of Flames of Rage is uh, such a high uh, dark scaling uh, dark gift um, from our from our exceptionally exceptionally high uh, dark value, um, it just kind of made sense to uh, go for something like this. And here, as you see, our damage on the bloody snow is absolutely poor. Um, but uh, we can run up, poke this guy, get some i core back, um, and then do some massive damage there. So uh, let's go for a drain rating and a mobility enhancer. Okay, and we'll go for a backstab here. And then we will go for a flames of rage to uh, see uh, how much damage we can do. So 7,500 on this guy. Oops. And as you see, we have a 5 second cooldown, and uh, Flames of Rage, if you uh, just go ahead and set it on the ground, it does, um, it does uh, a 10 second um, delay before it uh, actually explodes onto the enemy. Okay, there we go. And so you have uh, 10 seconds to kind of put one down, run around, and as you have a... Uh, now let's see how many uh, guys we can get going here. Um, to hopefully uh, put all of them down in, uh, or at least these, we got two, okay. So if you uh, can cast it quick enough, um, you can uh, use it uh, very, very frequently and uh, in, in large groups like this. And because it has a pretty big radius, um, you're, able to, uh, you're able to put it out um, into an area even and uh, use it uh, pretty easily and quickly on uh, big groups if you need to. Oops. Okay. There we go. Getting some high core back here from these guys. So let's go ahead and put this guy down. Let's go ahead and get some high core uh, regenerating here. And since we don't care about anything except uh, having large amounts of high core to do our um, our uh, gifts on on these guys. Now I know this is the beginning of the game, uh, so you kind of have to take that into consideration as well. But at the same time, um, you know these enemies—they can kill you in one or two hits. Um, so there is uh, that to consider as well. So let's head over here and see how we do against this fellow. Okay, so 7,300—that's pretty good. Uh, let's get some I core here. Oops, he's dead because of Eva. Um, she uh, since she does blood damage, and he's extremely exceptionally over the top weak to blood damage. Uh, she is the bane of the existence of the uh, uh, Ashen or the uh, underground uh, ruined city here. Uh, so, but that's okay. And uh, these guys are sort of uh, averagely strong to fire damage. Um, so uh, this isn't uh, like exceptionally overwhelming for them or anything. But uh, it definitely um, is a, a great way to, um, or at least a fun way to uh, play through here. And as you see, uh, we don't uh, we don't do a, almost any damage on a backstab. So this is perfect to show that uh, you know you can just get uh, lots of I-Core back um, without uh, having to sacrifice uh, damage at all. So let's head over here. And now the big guy will see us, and he will run around. And uh, Eva will um, definitely get uh, him excited. Okay. And then let's go for a plunge here so we get i -Core back. There we go. We'll go for uh, Flames of Rage. We'll go for a backstab, get more i because we have to have lots and lots of i -Core for the Oliver fight. Let's go for another Flame. Okay. And uh, so we're doing pretty well here. Uh, doing pretty well. So let's go for uh, this and Bloodsucking Blades. And uh, let's head on over here. And uh, we'll go ahead and dodge over here, go for a backstab, and then we'll hit him with a flame uh, afterwards. There we go. And let's uh, flame him down. There we go. Uh, flame Mignon. <laughs> uh, 
we got jokes this jokes today jokes today all right um so this isn't really um you know anything uh too incredible but it is funny that uh, you have to run up on an enemy, uh, do monstrous amounts of damage, and then uh, dodge out, um, and uh, and kind of uh, reset yourself with a very 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 weak um, backstab, and then um, out of that weak backstab, uh, cast another flames of rage. And because the cooldown is very very quick, at uh, five seconds, and it only costs five icor, um, you can constantly have uh, access to huge amounts of Icor um, because of your veil and the uh, and the bloody snow at the same time. Okay, and uh, so then here's another application. You can see that, oh, there's a guy up there. Okay, so if you run over here and then uh, run over here and put out uh, a flame on him, we'll get some Icor back here and see, if, whoops, uh, whoops. Uh, and uh, you see there that uh, we put it on the ground, and it was uh, 10 seconds uh, before it uh, before it went off. Um, and uh, so, if you're trying to trap an enemy, and uh, you want to um, get some, you could even use with this. Uh, you could use uh, Revenant Dagger and get some Icor back at a distance. Have people come over and run into your uh, flame trap instead of uh, doing it directly on top of them. Uh, but I think it's a lot more fun to do it directly on top of them. Uh, so we'll go ahead and heal one there. Uh, we'll save all these uh, for the Augur fight. And we'll kill this guy. And then this guy comes down. And let's see uh, if we can uh, get a backstab and load up on some Icor here before the uh, the Oliver fight. Okay. Okay. And we'll go for a couple more backstabs here so we can have uh, an exceptionally high uh, 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 values here. Oh good, we got another backstab. So this is uh, a really great way for each fight that you get into if you can constantly backstab over and over and over and over then you will uh, be able to have all kinds of ability um, in every kind of way. Okay, um, simply because of the fact that uh, you're able to um, get all kinds of uh, damage out onto the enemy. Okay, we're at max I-Core, so we'll just burn these guys down so we don't get uh, cornered here uh, by the uh, slug and his uh, lost friend there. Okay, and now as we come up to the Oliver fight, we will have to um, hit him a little bit with our uh, pokey bits on the, uh, on the bloody snow here. And then we will have to go for... Um, all these things and have um, enough Icor left over for um, Eva. There we go. And now our uh, Flames of Rage will cost seven Icor, so that's why we have to do uh, Icor um, uh, Icor regeneration before the fight. Uh, so we will go ahead and heal up here. And now we have access to a pure blood if we need um, anything uh, during the fight for more Icor to go for more damage on this fellow. Okay. And now, since we have a really high drain rating. Uh, on our weapon and we have a um, really really high dark value that's all you need is just an extremely high dark value and a, and a really good uh, way to get Icor back okay there we go and we'll go for a flames of rage there that's good and um, here he comes again so we'll go for another one and dodge oh we can't dodge because we were in the animation we'll go for some more Icor here let's get uh, blood sucking blades and uh, we need a little more Icor there we go. And let's go for another flame. There we go. He'll transition here. So let's go for a, uh, a gift accelerator and a drain activator. Okay. And let's go for... Oh. There we go. Okay. There we go. He's going to do two, three. Okay. And let's go for another flame. And as you see there, our, uh, our um, actual weapon doesn't do almost any damage. Whoops. Okay. Eva. Thank you. Oops. And... And uh, one more. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Flames of Rage is, um, I don't know, is this, I, I feel like this is kind of a joke, but then at the same time, like, it does do really good damage um, overall, but if you get stuck in the animation of uh, casting it, uh, which is why I wanted to go for um, all of the uh, gift accelerators there and such, and so you can put it down on the ground very, very quickly, and then when you pair up with Eva, you Wait, get an even you, you get an even higher um, 
dark value, and you get up over uh, 3,000 um, on your dark value. And so this, uh, the Flames of Rage, uh, quick cooldown, fairly quick cooldown, <coughs> excuse me, the fairly quick cooldown paired with the fairly low I-Core, um, and the fact that it's an AoE directly around the player, and uh, for th at least this first area of the game, it's uh, basically a one-shot for almost every enemy, and for the big boys, uh, you need two of them, but uh, that's okay. So let's go ahead and drink some water here. <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> oh. Alright, hang on. Ooh, we're, di we're dying here by the by the flames of rage. Okay, um, so if you're looking for a kind of goofy, fun way to get in on the enemy while at the same time um, you're uh, you're looking for some pretty good uh, drain rating on your weapon, um, and at the same time you're also dodging in and out of combat and kind of doing some goofy stuff. Uh, this could be a, a fun little way to uh, go through now, some of the beginning easy. areas of the game and. Uh, um, investigate, you know, kind of how some of this stuff uh, pairs up. Um, but uh, so that'll do it for the first section of the game here as we uh, adventure into 32 stars. And uh, this will just kind of be goofy, weird, strange uh, builds for um, this playthrough. We won't be doing anything too uh, normalized or anything, so it'll be all kind of exotic, strange things like this. And uh, we'll see, we'll see uh, what we can do from here. So. Um, We'll be picking up in the parking deck next uh, with the butterfly, so we'll see you all there, and thank you for watching.